Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome to this Pass Agro Engineering Company, and with you is Agbato Adebola, Head of Operation. Um, yes, we are back with our catfish series videos, and um, I'm sorry we've not been able to drop on any video on this series for the past two weeks. We've been very, very busy. We just set up our second commercial feed mill, and we traveled for some of our some of the installation of our traveled for the installation of, of, of some of our machines you know we just supply about seven fans in the east so we went there for installation we'll be dropping some videos about that very very soon so today on our catfish formulation series video i'll be speaking on fish meal i will be speaking on fish meal yes because there's a lot that has to do with fish meal. You know, many people don't understand fish meal and it's important in fish feed production. A lot of people don't really understand that. They just know that okay, fish meal, or fish have put it, okay, put it, you know. There are things that you need to know about fish. There are so many things that you need to know about fish meal. You know, there are so many things you need to know about fish meal. How good is it? Is it oily? You know, all these things you need to know them. So on this video on this series on this particular episode i will be speaking on different types of fish meal how you identify the good ones the bad ones how uh, knowing the exact amount of fish meal you need to add in your fish feed formulation either you're either you're producing 3 mm 4 mm 6 mm or 9 mm that amount you need it's a very key factor to producing a quality fish feeds because if it's too excess, the fish don't really make use of it too. And if it's if it's below the standard, the fish don't really make use of it too. So knowing the calculated amount or knowing the minimum threshold that your fish needs is very important. You know that knowing this will help you to save cost because we all know that fish meal are very very expensive. The imported, the, the local, either of them are expensive. So knowing the exact amount to put will also help you to save a lot of cost. So going forward from there, I will speak on the two types of feed, uh, fish feed me, fish meal that are very very prominent in this part in this part of the world. First, I will speak on the imported fish meal. Yes, we have the imported fish meal. Some people call it seventy two percent. Some people call it imported fish meal. Some people call it Denmark fish. You know, a lot of names has been given to this particular fish meal. Now this is it. No doubt, seventy-two percent fish meal is very good for your fish. No doubt about that. But do you know that a lot of these things has been they have been contaminated? Not even contaminated. They have been adulterated. We hardly have original imported fish meal in Nigeria these days. It's very hard for you to come about a good original fish meal. Most of those ones that we see in the markets are China made. They are China made. What am I saying by China made is that most of them are not real fish, you know. Most of them have been, uh, all these things, fragrance has been added to it. So it smells like fish, but it's not rich. I've done a lot of analysis, chemical analysis of fish meal. Before we edit, before we do our fits, we make sure that all our ingredients, we do the analysis. We try to know if it's well, if it's 72% that it says it is. So we try to know, so we take them to the lab. We have our lab here, yeah, the animal care lab. So that's our family lab. So for all of you that don't know, so that's our family lab. So I take them to the lab to do analysis of these things. Most times, do you know that the 72 percent fish meal you said you are buying is not even 72 percent? Some of them are 46, 45, 50, 60. You know, if you, even if you are still having 60, it's still a good one. But imagine you are buying, you're paying a huge amount of money to buy. 30 percent fish meal that even our local fish meal can still give you that you know so it's it's a pain in the house and also um, a lot of people don't really know this so a lot of people try to go into the market and sell counterfeit product just in the name of making more money you know so this is not good and this has sent a lot of farmers off fish farming business it has sent a lot of them off fish farming business because a lot of people has lost money on this already you know, I have a particular farm then that we're consulting for. You know, this man is always after I want to protect fish meal. I want to, I was like, no, this, this is not it. You are all getting it wrong. Do you know that even with our own local fish meal, you can still get good results? I'm not trying to say the imported fish meal is not good. It is very, very good if you get the, if you are 
lucky enough to get the original one so let me speak on the two types that are very common in the market we have the 999 that's triple nine and we have the ff skagen you know i've been a good customer of those two brands you know i've been a good customer of those two brands until we start having adulterated but adulterated ones in the market adulterated ones circulating in the market so most of our fish meal most of our imported fish meal we import them down from denmark especially the 99 and then ff gadget so we imported we import them down to here so i'm sure of the quality of fish meal we sell to you so um do you know that most of these fish that they use in making imported fish meal are fish that are not even good for human consumption no not a, not everybody knows this so this is what they do they call those kind of fish commercial fish so after harvesting such fish they take it go undergo some processes you know dry the oil in it and some of them don't even have oil so they grind them after grinding then um set us and here we are so basically we have two types of um, imported fish meal those ones are very common so we have the triple nine like i earlier mentioned 999 and we have the ff skagen these brands are very good brands if you can get the original you understand you can get the original so one thing i just discovered lately is that most of those companies uh, our people will go over to this country and tell them that okay now give us 70 percent of good fish meal and of the counterfeit one give us 30 percent of the good one so mix it together so after doing that they bring it down to nigeria they bag and seal and sell for us at 72 percent a lot of people do know this yes all the things i'm saying are not google searched no i'm talking from experience so all my lectures are based on our experience so if you agree with me fine if you don't agree with me then um, i don't know but this is what we've been doing that has been working for us you know even on our farm you understand and also for farmers that we've been consulting for you can tell you you understand so this is what i've noticed too so they will go there tell them give us 72 percent counterfeit that uh 70 percent of good of counterfeit uh, fish meal give us 30 percent so they mix the 30 percent with the 70 percent and bring it down to nigeria and sell for unsuspecting farmers now as do you know that sometimes um fi imported fish meal now cost about 1400 per kg so imagine paying 1400 naira for what you can get for 500 naira here in nigeria do you know that you have you've spent a lot of money and definitely definitely this is not good <laughs> i swear this is not good you know a lot of people have false victims of this a lot of people fell victims already a lot of people are still falling victims of this so um now advise that if you have a procurement officer probably someone that helps you to buy ingredients please look into it there's a way you identify the good ones and the bad ones see now you can't even use mail to identify a good fish meal they give you can't use mail because these people are not very smart that they give you they will put a particular fragrance that will make it or flavor that will make it smell like fish <laughs> and even after production you still be smelling fish everywhere and like wow this formation is very rich whereas it's not rich you are just eating flavor you're just eating fragrance you know this is what we don't really know and this is a deep secret that nobody will tell you it's a deep secret that nobody will tell you yeah okay okay yeah so we are still on the 72 percent 72 percent fish meal if you can get the original it's very good for your fish yes it's very good for your fish you know it has a good amino acid profile and um it's and it's good growth and development of your fish even at the very early stage yes if at the very early stage of your fish three when they are eating one mm two mm three mm you if you can give them good quality fish meal yes it will enable them to grow very well even after switching to your local feed you will still be seeing that and uh, that treat that good good treat in them you know so endeavor to always put imported fish meal in your food but be aware of counterfeits because if you are buying counterfeits you are wasting your money you are wasting 1500 naira package you are wasting it okay that is it uh, some people say we have um some imported local fish meal like if you don't know, let me throw like more light on that imported local fish meal like some people get their fish meal from senegal some people get it from some other part of the african country so it's still imported but it's still local you understand so actually i don't use that i don't i've never made use of such fish meal before 
so i cannot really say about that but um if you been if you want to use it if you want to try it make sure you try to analyze the fish meal before you use it so the result from it you can send it down to me then i'll help you to analyze if you do if you can analyze it yourself just send the results to me that the lab people give to you send it to me i'll help you to analyze it and tell you the percentage inclusion of such fish meal that you can put in your feet do you understand so you can do this i'll help you to do that you understand and if you don't know where to test for your fish meal you can send them down to us here in Ibadan. We will help you to do the analysis and tell you the result. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. And um, so let me switch down to the local fish meal, our own fish meal, you know. <laughs> this is our own fish meal, you know. We call it local fish meal because it's made up, it is made up of local fish, you know, different types of fish. So now let me tell you one secret. We have two types of local fish meal. Yes, we have two types. We have those ones that they... Um, the malam cells that they bring from the north and we have a particular one known as the clupids do you understand so um if you are lucky to get the clupids the clupid is a very good local fish meal it has about 50 to 60 percent good protein so this 65 we are saying is just numbers sincerely it does not work that way any longer it does not work that way any longer so if you are doing your formulation stop basing your local fish meal on 65 percent most of these local fish meal are not 65 percent though they are not though the best you can get these days is 60 60 55 you understand so um if you are getting group beats then i can assure you that you are getting about 60 percent good protein and uh, fish meal but if you are getting the mixed one from the abokis that has a lot of fishes a lot of um yeah a lot of fishes bones crabs if you are getting things like that then my brother you are not getting 65 you are not getting 65 you are not getting 60 you are not getting 50 you are getting 45 you are getting 48 percent group protein you know this is it that this is secret that you don't really know and do you know that those ones that those apokis are selling most times as um oil is not properly pressed there's still oil in it it still has oil in it and when your fish meat contains oil oh, wow this particular additives that you need to add so that it will prevent the rancidity and oxidation process of that feed. you understand well for people that don't understand let me come back again if you are buying a bookie type of fish meal that has different fishes and you can still feel oil you can still feel oil in such fish meal make sure that when doing your formulation make sure there's a particular Feed additives that you need to add to your ingredients that will help you to prevent oxidation of such feeds because if you don't the fish will start oxidizing and sometimes it leads to your fish having crack egg disease it might oxidize good nutrient out of the of the feeds and your feed your fish will start having crack eggs and some other uh, feed related diseases you know try and look into this try and look into this so if you are lucky to buy the clupid local fish meal the clupids yes clupids we are lucky to buy that then it's very good because clupids don't really have oil so it's a very good local fish meal for you to to use in your fish um fish formulation so i have a lot of information on this and um time will not permit me you know if this video is too long so many people might not really enjoy it so if you know you are enjoying this video and you want more please comment on the comment on the comment make comment on the comment section send us email send us whatsapp messages you know encourage us to always give you more of this vital information because sincerely i've been receiving a lot of calls a lot of calls that ah, i need to continue this series that it has been an eye opener for some of some of our local fish farmers a lot of people have been calling me so if you really want us to continue this series please make comments let's see your comments down after dropping this video let's see your comments make sure you flood us with comments questions you know i'm ready to answer any questions in the in the in the course of the week yeah before monday you can send your questions in before monday yes i'm ready to answer them you know you can call me you can if i don't pick some of our groups if people will pick you know let us help each other you know if you are making profit if i'm making profit that's when everybody can grow you know and um this is uh, 
this is the only way we think we can help fish farmers you know this is the only way we think we can help fish farmers because i've had a lot of people complaining lamenting about poor feet you know poor growth okay like i mr peace Pass, i've gotten the water management right i've gotten the best uh, the best seeds like the fingerless juvenile i've gotten them so why is it that my fish are not growing these are little things that you need to know that you don't know that are not making your fish to grow very well so you understand so imagine buying you know a lot of things a lot of things a lot of things so thank you so much um if there's any other question from this series i just dropped so let me know so quickly quickly in summary we have two types of um fish meal we have the imported and we have the local the imported most of them are made in denmark Holland, germany if you know so um and one of the the two good brands that i've used before uh the ff and the 999 triple nine you know but why i don't use most of them again is because we had to find good ones in the market most of them have been adulterated but once we are lucky to have good ones we still make use of it and um we have the second type of fish meal is the local fish meal for the local fish meal we have the local appropriate types of fish that contains different fishes different uh, aquatic creatures crabs all these things you know and we have the one that complains that co consists of the glue pits alone you know so we have two types the one that has the different types of creature and we have the one that has the glue pit fish you know so if you are lucky to get the kudu fish then you are lucky to have 60 percent cooked protein in your feed but if you are buying the aboki types that has different types of fishes in it then i cannot guarantee you of the cooked protein because most times it contains death it's dirty death <laughs> you know just dirty you're just buying death you know a lot of people don't know this even those guys those are probably selling to you they have three grades they have three grades of that fish they'll tell you this one is this amount package this particular one is this amount package this particular one is this amount package so they have three types do you know so some of some people will just go for the lowest the lowest um, the lowest one the one that has the lowest amount of money maybe the one with 200 or 300 in a package those guys have three those guys they have three three grades the good one the bad one and the very good one you understand so they will tell you but most people in nigeria like oh fish meal is fish meal give me the 300 naira one and fish meal is not fish meal fish meal is not fish meal and do you know that um using fish meal in your fish in your fish feed is not just for the smell it also needs to add to the cooked protein to add to the cooked protein the, the cooked protein requirements of your fish so if you are just buying any other fish meal then it is reducing the required cool protein your fish will not grow so how will your fish grow Imagine giving a two-year-old baby a bye by every time. How is it going to grow? So let's look into this. And, um, if there's any question, observation, complete um, addition, you can send us an email and drop your comment. If you like this, give us a thumb up. We really, really like this. Once again, my name is Alberto Adebola, and I'm pretty sure you've enjoyed this episode too. So look forward to some other um, exciting episodes too. I'm very, very informative episode so um thank you so much i need to go now bye